So I came across this skirt on ASOS and I was instantly drawn to it for some reason. I just thought it would be perfect for a Sylveon cosplay. It doesn't really make much sense because it is just a white skirt. It's not very specifically Pokemon themed or anything. It's also not my style at all. I don't wear skirts or dresses or anything like that. So maybe that's why I thought of it as cosplay because it's not something I usually wear. But anyway, I saw this and I bought it instantly with no other plans other than wanting to look like Sylveon. As soon as it was ordered, I drew out a few ideas based around the skirt. I tried a waistcoat and a corset, but then I drew this blouse with puffy sleeves and I thought it would be just perfect. It was giving me dainty cupcake, partially Rococo-ish Barbie princess vibes, which I think is perfect for a Sylveon cosplay, as Sylveon is a fairy type Pokemon. With that done, obviously the next step was finding this blouse and a way to make the skirt look puffier and my hair longer because I have very short hair so I knew I needed a wig as well. And after a little bit of searching on Google, Devil Inspired came to mind just because I'd been recently watching a Lovely Law video and I think she was sponsored by them? Well, at least she talked about them in this video. And I thought, oh, the Lolita silhouette kind of matches what I'm going for, so I thought it'd be the perfect place to go. This website is a Taobao website. I'm not quite sure what that means. And it does focus mainly on Lolita, which is a J fashion based off Renaissance and Rococo, I believe. I may be wrong on that, so correct me if I'm wrong. But I do know that it's a very, very cute fashion, which focuses on a cupcake silhouette. I really like this fashion. I could see myself trying it at some point if I came across a dress that I actually really wanted. But anyway, back to the cosplay. I ordered a petticoat to make the skirt the desired shape, a puffy sleeve blouse, and a two-tone pastel blue-pink wig, which I'm very excited for. I love wigs. I have many wigs. I think they're the coolest thing ever invented. Once everything was ordered, I went back to my skirt, which literally arrived the same day I placed my Devil Inspired order, so that was all really good timing. And I started mapping out two stripes on the bottom of the skirt, which I was going to paint pink and blue. Now, Sylveon does have a darker blue stripe between the two pastel colours, but I wanted this skirt to look like the trans flag for purely selfish reasons, so I ignored the dark blue and just did the two pastel colours. And this came out so cute. There are places where the paint went underneath the tape a little bit, but from far away you can't see any of that, so it doesn't really bother me that much. But in doing this I did realise this skirt was probably not going to fit under the petticoat because it is a tennis skirt and therefore it is sewn in a way that makes it tighter on the top. Luckily for me it was very easy to cut these seams and make it a pleated skirt instead of a tennis skirt. It was definitely tedious but I'm glad I did it because it looks so good over the petticoat in the end, which you will obviously see a little bit later. With the skirt done, I then went on to making the ears. The base of this is cardboard, this is way they won't flop at all, and they'll also be very easy to shape. I thought about using wire, but all the times I've tried using wire in the past have been very infuriating. It's just too fiddly for my hands, I don't know why. But with the cardboard bases made, I then went on to super glue a white felt type fabric over the top. I'm not fully sure what type of fabric this is, I'm pretty sure it's felt, but I coated all my cardboard pieces with that, and it looks really odd right now because it's all white, but I couldn't find the right coloured fabric, so I decided to paint it instead. But before I get to that, I also did make accessories. I make two little bows, one for the ear and one for the neck, and then I made little tendril things, antennae? Are they like antennae or are they like tentacles? Anyway, I made those things. I did initially make them really wide, I did cut them down. I completely forgot to film literally any of making the tentacle things, so I am sorry about that, but they came out really cute in the end. For the painting, I decided to make the colours a little bit darker and more saturated, just so they stand out as much as possible and they don't blend into the outfit too much. And I think they look perfect and cute and this colour theme is everything to me. I love Sylveon's colour story so much. I will say the ears end up being very heavy, they tend to fall forward a lot and I'm not quite sure how to secure them properly. I'll probably get some banana clips or something, or maybe sew the headband into the wig at some point. But it's not really that big of a deal because I'm only wearing it for a short amount of times in my room. I haven't been to a convention in years. And with that, all my accessories are made, and we can go on to the Devil Inspired review section of this video. It looks like this. I think it's very cute that it says Devil Inspired all over it. So this is the petticoat. It does look quite big for a short petticoat, so I'm hopeful about that. The wig, oh my god, the wig is so pretty. Or at least what I can see of the wig is really pretty. Colours don't even look as nice on camera. These colours are so pretty and pastel -y. And then finally we have this. I don't remember it having gold accents on it. Obviously it didn't look close enough. Let's start with the petticoat and I'll put on my skirt that I've already done. Okay, it's actually quite soft. I thought it was going to be really hard and crinkly. So the label does say Aurora and Ariel and it says Lolita underneath it. So I'm assuming this is an actual Lolita brand. Honestly, really, really love this petticoat. I think it's so cute. It's so puffy. 
it looks really good under this skirt and what I've hopefully said so far in this video is that I was worried that this skirt was going to look weird over a petticoat because it's pleated but I think it looks really good. Another good thing about this petticoat is that when I jump it doesn't even come up like it doesn't feel like I'm going to flash anyone. I'm wearing shorts underneath it but it doesn't feel like I'm going to flash anyone which is great. We'll do the blouse next. I do like the feel of this. Do we have any branding? Oh we do have a label. Original design Lolita and then I am probably going to mispronounce this so I apologize. Di Meng Fen Shi. My favorite thing about this I think it's all the different types of lace that it has. Like you have a polka dot kind of lace trim on the sleeves kind of like a fluffy wrist cuff kind of vibe and then there's a different lace that goes along the collar which i think is really cute not a huge fan of the fact that the puffiness of the sleeve doesn't come all the way up to the shoulder there's like a piece in between the shoulder and the sleeves but they still have the right amount of puffiness i think i will say it's very see-through but it is a white blouse and i have never seen a white blouse that isn't slightly see-through finally we get to open the wig wig cap i have loads of these i probably won't bother opening this i think i've had this exact wig cap before because the drawings on the back are so familiar to me that i think i've had this wig cap before oh it's so pretty oh there is a label sin wavy wig i apparently messed up all the wig footage so if you're wondering why my makeup's different it's because this is a completely different day first thing that's very obvious is that the fringe is really really long i actually much prefer this on wig it's much nicer to be able to customize where the fringe is going to hit on your face it is very shiny i don't really mind the shine i think it looks completely fine i will say it's very very thin like you can see the wefts very very easily and i want to say it's because it's cheap but i own wigs that are the same price or slightly cheaper that are much thicker than this wig so that doesn't really make much sense to me but overall i do really like this wig i feel like it's a really nice color the pink to blue gradient is so pretty and it's going to be absolutely perfect for this cosplay because it's so pastel overall thoughts on devil inspired the shipping is exponential why is it so expensive i was just not expecting it to be that much i didn't get hit with customs i was almost expecting customs so i'm very glad about that i don't know whether you'd have to pay customs in other countries but saying that products were all really cheap anyway so i feel like the shipping is almost justified because it raises the price of the individual products just a little bit and with the blouse and the underskirt i feel like they are more than worth the money like the underskirt especially i was thinking it was going to be a little bit limp because of the price because it seemed really cheap for an underskirt so because of that the shipping isn't bothering me too much i think i would have been more bothered if i had to pay it twice because it got stopped at customs but that didn't happen but i feel like that's all my thoughts kind of put out there on the items and the website so i will go on to actually cutting the wig like i said before i need to cut the fringe and then i think the look is pretty much done once i've done that now that i have the wig it's time to cut the fringe and it was a journey it went so badly at first because i completely messed up trying to do a vampire pointed fringe i don't know how it just went so terribly wrong and then it just kept on getting worse because i tried to cut the side pieces to make like a w-shaped fringe honestly i wanted to give up but then i remembered the existence of hime bangs which i think are a really cute style which would go perfectly with a fairy type pokemon honestly the fringe ended up a little bit too short across the front but overall i really like the wig for the makeup i went with a very simple makeup look so i did blue for the eyes because sylveon's design has completely blue eyes with a little bit of white on the inner corner just to make my eyes look a little bit bigger i then did a pink blush all the way across the nose and up onto my forehead a bit i just felt like it was important to include pink all over the face as well i did kind of my normal lip shape with my favorite pink lipstick and then i matched the color to the blush a little bit more by putting the eyeshadow over the top and then to finish it off i used my white concealer and i kind of just splattered it over my face but i will stop rambling so you can see the final result <laughs> hope you enjoyed the final result of this cosplay and if you did like this video please give it a like comment your favorite pokemon down below and subscribe as i post a video whenever i feel like it and i'd love to see you again but until then bye